she decided to have a snake in her house and used to sleep with it every day. Then something happened that no human expected. Animals are one of the best creatures that exist on Earth. Many of them are considered wild because they've not adapted to life with humans, although we could also say that we have not adapted to them. Snakes are wonderful animals that are sadly still very much misunderstood by many people. However, there are people who do dare to adopt them, and it makes us ask them, is it really the best decision? In these two stories today, we'll tell you about the cases of women who decided to adopt snakes, ignoring the warnings of their entire community. The first story takes place in Cadiz, Spain. Snakes are animals that we must treat with great care, because depending on their type, with a single bite, they can immobilize us and even end our life, not counting those snakes that wrap around our body and can suffocate us without being able to do anything to avoid it. In general, the snake is one of the most fearful animals of the world, and with good reason, since its appearance and dangerous behavior convey that feeling of danger. Currently, there are around 3,400 species of snakes, and less than 10% are venomous. Pilar Sanchez, a 60-year-old woman, a native of this area of Cadiz and lives alone in her house, accompanied only by her pet snake, which she has fed and cared for with love for three years. Well, she is the only living being with whom she could share her loneliness, since her son was not living in the city. However, he was able to visit her at least part of the time a month. Jorge did not like the idea that his mother had this wild animal as a pet, and several times he warned her to give it to an animal shelter, but the woman refused to listen to her son. The man had no choice but to give up his attempt to convince his mother and hope that everything would turn out well. This pet of Pilar's is actually a python, where they sold it to her, they told her that it was a very calm animal. They also explained that due to constructive condition of the python, it's not harmful, but it attacks with traps, ambushes, and like a snake, it's very territorial. So any species that approaches its territory will surely be attacked in defense, but that all would be fine if she raised it from a young age because it would consider Pilar as part of its territory and would never attack her. At least, that's what they told her. We'll now excite you with some curious facts regarding this animal. Keep them as they will help you understand Pilar's reaction later. The python kills its prey using the suffocation method after taking it in its mouth and enveloping its body with no visible escape. He squeezes them very hard on the ribs and lungs, making it impossible for them to breathe. Few are the prey that manage to survive such pressure, since pythons are extremely strong. You'd be surprised to see the pressure that they usually do with their body. Renee, which is the name that Pilar gave her pet, is fed with amphibian animals, mostly frogs, toads, and fish, that the woman is in charge of providing for it. Humans are not part of this animal's diet, but it should be noted that the python, if it feels threatened, will not hesitate to attack to preserve its integrity. This type of behavior is more seen in female pythons to defend their eggs. Our pets are just like any other family member and want to be by our side at all times, whether it's day or night. And for many people, this may mean being allowed to share a bed with them during sleeping hours. This may be fine when it comes to dogs and cats, but there are some pets that should not be allowed to sleep on the bed. If you don't believe me, just take a look at what happened in this story. Pilar learned this the hard way when she let her beloved python sleep next to her every night. That night, as was the custom, at 10 p.m., Pilar finished with her chores, leaving all her utensils clean and tidy for the next day. And as always, she took Renee out of its inventory and invited her to climb into her bed, where they would once again sleep together. Renee has always had the habit of moving all over her body from head to toes, which for some reason was very comforting to Pilar, because she feels protected and feels that she can sleep safely. But unknown to her, this was far removed from reality. The days after these, the woman noticed that Renee had stopped eating. Pilar didn't understand why her python refused to eat. This began to worry the woman as she thought that her snake might be sick and she should take it to the only person who would know what her faithful pet has, a vet. Pilar, as she could, took Renee to the nearest veterinary clinic. Everyone was surprised because they found the scene somewhat funny. A 60-year-old lady with a pet snake. It was certainly something you didn't see every day. Once she arrived at the site, she was immediately attended to by the vet. The woman told everything that was happening to her beloved Renee, to which the vet asked her several questions about the behavior of the snake. Between them, does the snake sleep with you at night? Does it wrap around or close to you and extend its entire body? Pilar was very surprised by the correctness of the doctor, responding very happily. Yes, it's something he does every night, and it makes me feel happy because I feel protected. 
It's as if Renee slept cuddling with me to tell me that everything is fine. However, the poor woman didn't know that in a few seconds her precious tail was going to lose its magic, touching her with brute reality. The vet very patiently worked up the courage to tell the woman the truth. Actually, Renee was not sick, nor was he hugging the woman. Ma'am, your snake is not sick, the vet began with a worried voice. Actually, it's getting ready to devour you. Every time she hugs you at night, what she does is wrap around you to check her size against yours. She wants to know if you're a decent meal and how to prepare herself to attack. And the real cause of her lack of appetite these days was to make room inside her stomach, preparing it to gobble you up slowly. If you had waited a couple more days to come, you probably wouldn't have been here to tell me about it. This is when Pilar understood her mistake. She had thought that Python had human emotions, while its main purpose was to satisfy basic needs. And that's a very common system in the case of pythons. First, they check and estimate whether a prey is worth digesting. Then they stop eating and finally gulping down their victim, finally being motionless for weeks, even months, until they finish digesting and can move once more. Finally, the vet concluded, you can keep the python as you've been doing, but I recommend not removing it from its cell, as that would prove to be a serious mistake that would cost you your life. The woman had been too lucky, and from now on, she'll surely think twice before sleeping with her beloved snake again. For our second story, we have a similar case that occurs in the village of Lavashi in the Republic of Dagestan, and it went viral on social media. And it's not for less, because it's about the moment in which they extract from the mouth of the woman a snake of a meter in length that she put in her mouth when sleeping. Ivana Petro is a 30-year-old woman who, like the previous woman, had one of these peculiar reptiles as her pet. Ivana could never imagine that this would lead to her being in the news throughout the country. The images captured in the operating room of the hospital have been disturbing for some Internet users, as they show how far the snake slithered through the woman's throat. According to the local channel Cinco TV, the snake slithered down the woman's throat when she fell asleep with her mouth open under a tree outside her house. In order to remove the snake from her mouth, Ivana had to be anesthetized by the doctors, and the footage shows Ivana already anesthetized as the medical staff struggled to remove the long snake from her mouth. To do this, they use a tube similar to that of an endoscope in which they patiently search for a false movement of the reptile that allows them to remove it from the throat. After several minutes, the doctors achieve their goal and remove the animal from the woman's mouth. There are more than 3,000 species of snakes on the planet, and they are found everywhere except Antarctica, Iceland, Ireland, Greenland, and New Zealand. About 600 species are venomous, and only about 200 7%, are able to kill or significantly wound a human. Non-venomous snakes, which range from harmless garter snakes to the not-so-harmless python, dispatch their victims by swallowing them alive or constricting them to death. Whether they kill by striking with venom or squeezing, nearly all snakes eat their food whole, in sometimes astoundingly large portions. Almost all snakes are covered in scales, and as reptiles, they're cold-blooded and must regulate their body temperature externally. Scales serve several purposes. They trap moisture in arid climates and reduce friction as the snake moves. There have been several species of snakes discovered that are mostly scaleless, but even those snakes have scales on their bellies. That was today's video, and now it's your turn to answer these questions and participate in the debate. What do you think of these women with their peculiar pet reptiles? Would you be able to have a pet snake? Do you think that these animals can be just as domestic as a dog or a cat? Do you like both stories? Leave your opinion in the comments. You can also take advantage and leave us your like so that we know that you're liking our content and we'll continue to make more videos of this type. Until next time.